My film uh, is called Cop Secret and it's, um, it's uh, an over-the-top action comedy uh, which is unusual um, in, in this country, you know, taking place in Reykjavik and that was kind of the, the core concept, making a ridiculous action movie in this peaceful city of, of Reykjavik and uh, seeing all these scenes that we are used to seeing in the in action blockbusters from Hollywood that you would never be able to see in Icelandic movies because they don't make sense. We don't have any uh, supervillains or we don't speak in one-liners and the, the police doesn't even carry guns. So uh, there are ne never any car chases or, or explosions or anything like that. I think we, we, we borrow ideas from lots of places. Um, I, I remember when writing the first draft 10 years ago, we were talking about Tango and Cash a lot. And then more recent films like Hot Fuzz is, is doing pretty much the same as we are doing, taking a, a, an action movie and the, the styles of action movies and, and placing it in a very small, uh, peaceful t English town. And I, th I found that um, contrast funny and I, I, I like the style of, of Edgar Wright's movies. So I, I find him uh, inspiring. And lots of other things. Christopher Nolan, the way he the way he um, ties his third acts together and keeps you on your, the edge of your seat uh, throughout the whole third act is something that I had in mind while kind of keeping the rhythm of the the third act on, in this one, like trying to have the pace always pounding, always you know building. Um, so I, I think we borrowed ideas from lots of places. Yes, we had lots of challenges. Um, if we talk about just filming it, because okay, yeah, we started writing it 10 years ago, but then um, things developed uh, in, in the way that it was just put on a shelf. I became a professional football player for six years, and, and while doing that, you know, some people r tried to make it in Iceland, but uh, it never happened. And then when I came back, we started talking about the possibility of doing it. and. Um, and the opportunity fell into our lap because there was like a tiny grant. There was a leftover or something only, you know, for this year, 2020, that we were, you know, talking about doing it. So we, it kind of fell into our lap, the opportunity to, to make it really fast. And the problem was I was still um, playing football. I was, I was uh, playing in, uh, in Iceland and that was my main job and I was still the national team goalkeeper and we were playing very big games, you know, trying to reach the Euros 2020. And we had to do, do it during the season because we only had this window to make this movie. And after the season was done, then we were into the winter and that was not possible. So we had to shoot it during the football season and during COVID. It was uh, my two worlds colliding uh, in the most uh, dramatic way possible. You know, I was still playing at a high level as a football player and, uh, and, and making my first feature film. Uh, I mean, I was used to making commercials around my football schedule, but that's one or two days. This was a whole movie and, and it's difficult enough to make a, a movie, but doing it uh, around uh, a hectic football schedule is, is really difficult because both, both situations are very um, how do you say it? They are they are unflexible. You know, they are, they, you you you're not going to move football dates around, and you cannot move filming dates around when you're relying on weather and maybe hundreds of people or something. A fun fact is that we uh, we're talking about these two worlds colliding. Um, I retired in the national team after ten years of playing the same month as we premiered the movie in Iceland in October 2021. So it's all like coming together in a, in a nice kind of, kind of way. I just love it. Uh, first of all, getting the nomination is, um, is something that we never expected. I mean, we were making this movie for Icelandic moviegoers. We, nev we never thought anyone out outside of Iceland would, would ever see the film. So <laughs> it's been surprising us constantly. And this is like the, the, the climax of that, getting this uh, nomination at this fantastic award. So we are just, uh, that's a dream come true for us. And, and for it to, to be, you know, taking